Hi, welcome to Space Lunar Academy. This is Mr. Colossa and in Amplange, this is organic chemistry. <clears throat> in other words, in so assume Bangabana, you're doing grade 12 because this is a grade 12 topic. And this is video number one of the series of organic chemistry. Um, so introduction into organic chemistry related video. That's the point. The point of this is to introduce you to organic chemistry Bangabana what is organic chemistry you have to understand the topic before funding guy but oh what is organic chemistry before stating organic chemistry before getting it deep okay organic chemistry is the study of e compounds that contains the element carbon where hydrogen and oxygen are attached to the element carbon so it is a good as an organic chemistry, it is a carbon compound. So, can you compound as no carbon? And then, you can use hydrogen and oxygen attached to one or carbon. For example, C6H12 and O6. This is an organic compound. This is glucose. This is a molecular formula for glucose. The reason why it's been so a molecular formula is because in the air, you need Capagleo, clearly it's you used to see it in time toxins like photosynthesis and toxins like cellular respiration. You see this compound, that's why it says um, so it so, compounds as in just is busy on the organic compounds, and it's organic because it contains the element carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I hope it makes sense in the part. So, in the end, we have. If you call it chemistry and physical sciences, I used to say this with videos. Um, this is just a story. It's a story. There's a story behind young Elendo and Zekaaba. There's a group of e chemists, ne? Because Bafman is Bangabana, there's so many carbon compounds in Shabin. So this group of e chemists is called the IUPEC meaning the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemists. This group of chemists, the organization of chemists, they decided to group e-carbon compounds into families. So in the beginning, they grouped e-carbon compounds. They grouped the carbon compounds. They grouped the carbon Compounds meaning the organic molecules or any organic compounds, bas groupish or the carbon compounds. Compound. They grouped them into families, but as of families, clubs be the homologous series, ne? homologous series. So, in other words, the word homologous series it means a family of organic compounds as share a similar characteristics it's just a group of organic compounds that have the same or uh, they share similar characteristics for example the alkanes the alkanes they all have the same the same um method of naming for example is pelango zonke but as cutting around a lot part i'm just doing introduction what are alkanes? I'm just giving you an introduction on e organic chemistry. City organic chemistry is the study of e compounds as no carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. There was a group of scientists or chemists. What they were doing, they, they decided to group as carbon compounds into families. As families, it's homologous series. So the word homologous series means family a family of organic molecules and organic compounds that have the same characteristics so it will make sense as in quebec but just know that organic chemistry is a study of carbon compounds and the iupac meaning iupac is the group of chemists iupac means a group of chemists is an organization of chemists uh, that decided to group e organic compounds into families so that is basically that is actually they grouped them because of his similar uh, characteristics okay they have the same functional group okay they have the same a uh, number of bonds younger land okay so they grouped them into families in other words homologous series 
Um, you may be asking yourself why you cap on and then and then compounds as in gaga. For example, he plants they are made of there are organic molecules. So na kala they produce organic molecules. Plants are organic, humans are organic. Why in this it is organic? Because the human skin, the human flesh, that is a muscle, up to a bone, is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So if you can get to a molecular level of a human being, his cells, you find out that there's carbon, there's hydrogen, there is oxygen. In the blood, in the skin, in the muscle, in the bone, everywhere. Now up around us, plants they have the same arrangement that's why it's towards the organic molecules they are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen so they are organic molecules so when you're studying organic chemistry we're studying about hydrogen uh, carbon hydrogen and oxygen or any compounds that are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen i hope that is clear um the point is just to introduce you nothing much so i was saying you may be wondering why are you carbon in a compounds as in gaga, why a famous gangaga, why a good skin say to our why is it come why cap on any compounds as in some type of beer capella? There are many, many, and there are millions of e compounds as in zongo cap on. It's because cap on can form up to four bonds. Amanyamans, uku group four cap on. Up to the periodic table, go group four. So it means carbon can form a maximum amount of four bonds around it. So it can form single bonds. So these are single bonds. Is carbon can form double bonds around it you know, with other elements. So let's say apocobacono hydrogen, because it's the most organic compound, but no hydrogen or oxygen. So there's carbon and then there is a hydrogen. Remember, there should always be a maximum of four bonds around carbon. Carbon, we have four valence electrons. It is to Londo. Carbon can form up to four bonds. So one, two, three, four. But we need double bond to put up. This is a double bond. Carbon can also form a triple bond. One, two, three, four. If you have couple of zongas bonds, they are always adding up to four, four. Four bonds, four bonds. That is why carbon is special. That is why carbon can form millions of compounds. It's because it's made up of, it can form single bonds around the hydrogen atoms, can form double bonds with other carbon atoms, can form triple bonds, single bonds, double bonds, and triple bonds. So that's why carbon is so special. That's why in a millions of e compounds, of organic compounds, there are millions of organic compounds. So this group of chemists, they decided to group these millions into families, and these families are called homologous series. A homologous series is just a family of organic compounds that share similar character characteristics like functional group, um, the type of bonds, the ongeland. So we call them homologous series. I hope you get that. This is just an introduction. That's going any deep with organic chemistry. Um. To understand more about your organic chemistry, feel free to watch your video number two. Up on Zoben Gena Deep on how do we name organic compounds and video number three. I'll take a look at the list of organic homologous series, that is, if families. There's if it's families, so best tetangas. So tetango alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, aldehyde, ketones, alcohol, esters, carboxylic acid. So tetangas was one of in the next videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. If you feel like it's something like this on the channel, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you.